So hey, how's it going? So the topic for today is if you are not getting enough leads, try this. If you happen to be catching this video live, do me a favor, hit pound live. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If you happen to be catching this via the replay, hit pound replay and let me know where you are tuning in from. If you want a deeper dive as it relates to lead generation, uh, marketing strategies to be able to grow uh, your business, you can take advantage of a free marketing optimization call by going to vladimiradonis.com. So you probably have heard the concept of, from a lead generation standpoint, you can create what we call a lead magnet. That's a free resource. And you can give that free resource away for free. And in exchange, you can go ahead and generate some leads. I mean, I think just this week alone, I probably generated close to 100 leads using that exact same you know, strategy. And a lot of people use that exact same strategy, you know, as well. But at the same time, some people may not necessarily use that strategy properly and or some people may not use that strategy, um, you know, at all. So I want to go ahead and lead you to what it is that you need to do if you're not getting enough leads. But let me go ahead and just take you back to maybe about five years ago when I was doing what we call search engine optimization, meaning that I was putting content on um, you know platforms on my website so that when people were searching for my type of business it was a dating site at the time I can be I can be found and one of the strategies I started to do is I started to create content blog content I would publish these content on my site and I would do maybe about four or five different things from an on-page optimization standpoint and from an op page op, op, off page optimization standpoint and what I would do is, you know, I would probably maybe create five or 10 pieces of content at a time. And I would wait about three months or so. And I would go back and I would look at my dashboard and I would say, okay, based on these 10 pieces of content that I've created in the last, you know, in the last three months, where are they now? The way that I was creating the content is I would look on Google and I would say, you know what, this information is probably needed by people. And I was trying to answer the questions that people need. At least that's what I was trying to do for the most part. And when I did that, when I went back and I looked at my dashboard, the majority of the time when I created content that people needed, they didn't necessarily move up to the proper pages, page one. So later down the line, I learned that I needed to create a different type of content. And that's the content that people want. And when I created content that people want, what would happen is that some of that stuff would appear, say, on page number two and almost on page number one. And what I would do is I would do more work from the ones that appeared on page number two. So essentially, when it came time for the search engine to be able to optimize things from a search engine optimization standpoint, I had to give Google what it is that Google wanted. You know, I created 10 articles. Um, let's just say one of those articles appeared on page number two. So then what I would do is I would go back and I would do more marketing to that one piece of content to have that one piece of content appear on page number one. Because all the other nine pieces of content, they didn't necessarily get any traction. So because they didn't get any traction, I continue to just focus on the one that made it to page number three or page number two, because that is what Google wanted right so you I went ahead and optimized you know precisely what Google um, you know what Google want well the individuals that we desire to bring closer to us they're the exact same way as well oftentimes we want to go ahead and create content that people um, you know need but what you'll find sometimes is that people don't necessarily gravitate to what it is that they need they gravitate more so to what it is that they want I remember some time ago attending an in-person workshop and as I was attending this in-person workshop, the individuals that were attending that workshop, they had been in business for say a couple of years. So they weren't really brand new to business. And, um, you know, one of the things, one of the things that we know was going to happen that we knew was going to happen at this workshop is we knew that they were going to be talking about, um, you know, Facebook ads. And I remember having a conversation with someone right next to me and the both of us were saying, the only reason we're here is we are only here to learn about Facebook, um, you know, Facebook ads. And guess what? At that time, we did indeed learn about Facebook ads. 
But that's not what we needed per se. That's what we wanted because you can have or you can run Facebook ads all you want, but if you don't send the Facebook ads to a marketing funnel that's properly optimized, then you're not going to necessarily get any um, any traction. So, you know, these days when I have conversations with people, the things that they want is they want Facebook ads, they want traffic, they want automation, but a lot of times they don't necessarily need automation. So if I create content telling people how to optimize a marketing funnel, that may not necessarily be as, as sexy. That may not necessarily be as appealing. But if I create content on, here are the three things you need to do if you wanna grow your business using Facebook ads, guess what's going to happen? People are going to gravitate to it. I just so happen to be creating content for quite some time. I'm gonna look at my dashboard such as my podcast um, or other places I've created content. When I have the word Facebook ads in my content, Guess what happens from a download standpoint, from a traction standpoint, people gravitate to that type of stuff because that's what it is that they want. From a sequence standpoint, it doesn't even even it does not even make sense for people to go and start the Facebook ads process until they do so much legwork, not a lot of legwork, until they do um, legwork on the funnel side, until they make sure that that side is properly optimized but I can't necessarily get them to want that because that's not what it is that they want. So for you, think about you know your business, right? Don't think about it from a logical standpoint. Think about it from, a, okay, what do people actually want? Yes, they may need to do X, Y, and Z, right? But what is it do they actually want? Create content, create headlines that they want because when you do that, then you can go ahead and serve them what it is that they need. So, you know, if I'm running a workshop and that workshop is I'm going to show people, hey, here's how to grow your business using Facebook ads, that's probably going to get a lot of leads. And then once the leads enter into my environment and they start to consume, let's just say if I was doing a web class or a webinar or in-person event, well, I'm gonna say, hey, you know what, during this event or during this time, I'm going to show you how to grow your business using Facebook ads, but first, Let's do one, two, three, four. So as you can see, we're bringing them in with what it is that they want, but once we have them in, we're giving them precisely what it is that they need. So that's something that you want to um, you know, think about. So if you were providing content and you were trying to uh, bring people closer to you from a logical standpoint, and you were uh, saying, you know what, hey, I'm not going to even give people this type of content because they don't need they don't they don't need it right let's go ahead and change that whole thing give it give them exactly what it is that they want that's it that's all i have for you today pound live if you happen to be catching this video live let me know where you're tuning in from pound replay if you're catching this via the replay that's it for now i'll talk to you soon